Hey guys, welcome to my MobiFlight release video. My name is Sebastian, I'm the creator of MobiFlight and MobiFlight is your super easy way to get started with your own home cockpit and your favorite flight simulators. Um, tonight I'm doing a beta version uh, release. Tonight is December 12th and uh, it's the first time that I'm actually creating a video for this. But I'm so excited and I really want that you guys try this even though I know that the new version is not really, really stable and it requires some testing. But exactly for this, I'm doing this so that you guys out there, the nice guys from the MobiFlight community can help me test and provide me some feedback and if everything's working okay or if you are experiencing any um, trouble or issues with this release. Tonight I'm going to release support for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now some of you guys will say, well, with 7.10 you already said that the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is supported. And that is true, but it was with the usage of FSU IPC, um, which was released in a beta version 2. And as it turned out, there were some limitations because Microsoft has changed certain ways how things work under the hood, especially the avionics. So if you wanted to um, connect your GPS device with uh, the GPS device in your flight sim, unfortunately, using the old Sim Connect SDK events, it did not work, which means MobiFlight provided uh, these events, but they actually had no effect in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, drum roll with tonight um, and this beta version, I will, for the first time ever, have direct support of a Sim Connect interface built into MobiFlight, which means to be able to interact with the avionics, this will be possible even without FSU IPC running. Okay, and since this is a very important change also for MobiFlight under the hood, um, I decided to make this little release video so that you guys understand how to install it um, and what to take in mind. There's one last thing that I have to point out, unfortunately, to you, our case users, uh, the MobiFlight beta version that I'm going to release tonight is not going to support our case boards. Sorry about that, only Arduino based MobiFlight boards are working right now and this is simply because of the fact that the SimConnect DLL that ships with the Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK is not compatible with the library that I'm using to connect to your RKS boards. I hope I'm gonna fix this problem for sure but right now uh, we got this limitation. All right so now let's jump into the flight sim. All right, we're now here in this airplane in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and we're going to um, create a configuration uh, from MobiFlight and the GNS430 because I have a hardware GNS430 on my desk. So it's a good uh, way to illustrate how um, the new events uh, work. <clears throat> and I will jump over here to my uh, folder. I just downloaded the, the beta version. Um, I will start Mobi Flight, and you will see down here where it says Sim Status that once it's successfully connected, it will now tell Sim Connect as uh, the the option. You can still also run FSU IPC seven, and you might probably need it because you want to get some offset values read from the uh, Sim. But for the Microsoft Flight Simulator events that are now new uh, for MobiFlight that let, allow you to interact with the avionics. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's very important that you see this message also. Um, let's jump over here. I hope uh, it's arranged uh, okay like this. Let me double check. Yeah, this looks really good. And um, there's actually another thing that I have to point out before we get started. There is a new folder which is called MS, MS, 
MS FS 2020 module. And in there, you will find another folder. And this folder, MobiFlight event module, is what we have to um, copy into your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 community folder. Um, so it's very easy to find. Um, you have specified a path for your installation. Mine is Flight Sim MS FS 2020. And then there's the community folder. Maybe you have already put some other stuff in there like airports or things that you downloaded from, from the community websites. Um, I do not have a lot of items here, but you can see I just copied over the my Mobi Flight event module. You have to do it. This is the important puzzle piece to connect Mobi Flight uh, with the sim and allow us to interact with these new avionics. Yeah, it's a web assembly module that is always um, initialized uh, on startup. So you actually also have to restart your flight simulator if you have copied it over and it was already running, all right? So for me, I already had it in there. We're sitting in the plane. I have my GNS 430 on my desk and I wanna show you how to make it, uh, how to get it to work with the knob and some special function keys here that did not work with uh, the original SIM Connect events earlier and FSUI PC. So let's just do it real quick. Um, let's hop over to the inputs tab and I will create a new one that is GNS 430 and we will call it left big knob and uh, we will assign the, from my GNS430 Mobi Flight Board, I have the GPS course it's called, doesn't matter how you call it, might be different. But now I go to the action type and I can see that there is this new event called MSFS2020 event and I can choose from the type of device which is the GNS430. And then here I have an event list of things that I can do, can interact with. And in our case, this would be the left uh, large knob and we wanna turn it to the left. And the same thing or similar thing for the right one, I'll pick GNS430 and then I go down here and I'll take right large knob, uh, sorry, left large knob and to the right. Let me double check, left large knob, left, left large knob, right, yeah. <laughs> okay, tongue twister. Um, okay, activate, and we have the first thing done. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna execute it. And I'm going to interact now here on my hardware encoder, and you can see that the numbers are actually changing as expected, and it's so, so cool. Um, Let's do it for the direct two button as an example. GNS430 um, direct two. And again, I will pull this up. GNS430 is my module. I have a knob or yeah, I have a button defined, should actually be called direct. And then the action type is going to be MS FS2020 events. I again will choose the GNS430. And then here um, from this list, I can find direct to push. Great, so let's do this. Activate it, don't forget to activate. I also like to save right away so that it doesn't get lost. And I will push the direct to button on my GNS430 hardware and you can see it's working, yay. Uh, isn't that awesome, isn't that easy? Um, I have decided to do it like this, uh, that all the devices are grouped. That would also mean if you, for me it makes sense because uh, your hardware GNS430 or so require, requires a very special configuration anyways. If you have a G1000 hardware on your desk then, and you have a G1000 plane, then you would um, configure it like using the events from this particular section. I think it is straightforward and I hope it's easy to understand. Um, so um, yeah, I hope you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching this video tonight. Um, I hope you like the new and better uh, support for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. 
please uh, use the comment section below and let me know how everything's working for you or if you're experiencing problems of any kind. Um, also make sure that you subscribe to my channel to stay informed and uh, receive more information about updates and uh, tips and tricks. And also I want to remind you of our great website where you can sign up for free and get access to the forum where, and also the Discord server, a great community that helps each other. So I hope I, I'm going to see you soon there. Um, with this being said, have a great night and many happy landings always in your flight sim. Of course, with the help of Moby Flight. Talk to you soon. See you later. Bye bye.